It is. Relatively standard after two, three weeks of hype for the Dreadlord. It feels like the Dragonhawks stopped the Dreadlord hype. And now we're back to the Lich. But in what way? Instant aggression, counter expo, heavy, heavy creeping into a later push. And Fortitude, where is he going? To the lap, to the left, to the right. It's very, very hard to predict, so scouts are pretty much a necessity. But we see the footman on the high ground. Risky, risky creep camp. There's slow, there's a boulder, there's magic immune units. And an early start of this one. Early start to the camp. Acolyte saw this, but Lich is not going to harass this. This is a free level 2 for Fortitude and one of the biggest items on the map. And... 1 to 0 still with some technical difficulties, apparently. Okay. Not, uh... Not the most flawless start into the day. Ida93, thank you very much for the 12 month resub. But here we go. Just a small little hiccup. We have a sacrificial skull in the inventory for 120, so maybe it's just two base, two base. Items incredibly decisive. Rope of the Magi, Sobi Mask. All these items will lift up his early game tremendously. It is Rune Bracers, a fine item as well. Especially late game when the nukes are strong and your magic resistance is rising. We got level 2 of course on the Lich as well. Can't really be threatened. There was a footman harassing a little bit. Oh, actually, might be getting a ghoul here. And 40's path is quite interesting around the left-hand side. But yeah, both are going for the expansions. Both are going for the naturals. No curveball, just straight up. This is what they probably expected from the opponent. And what I expect from you is more subs like Flex Falcon. Six months freeze up. Let's go 40. But for now, the first blood is going to 1 to 0. The footman was surrounded, of course, gathered a lot of information. And what is this Archmage inventory? Mantle, claws, ruined bracers. This is insane. This is pretty perfect. And how is 1 to 0 supposed to hold this push? 40, though. It's moving all the way back. Not splitting, just full out defense. And this is only two ghouls. Isn't that like a little bit of a panic reaction? Curious. Expo coming as well as backpack. Expansion for 40 at 50%. Ghouls alive. And the human now has to suffer at the hands of Nova. But that was a level 1 Nova used. More and more ghouls. And we don't have mana after that water elemental. Fortitude needs... Oh, 6 save on the peasant at least for now. Water elemental split to the side. And it's a level 2 one. Uh-oh. Is it still a cancel? With the defense, is he once again reading this matchup like a book? A picture book. Oh, it's close. He's not getting it. He's not getting it. Okay, Undead Expansion survives. Human Expo is up. We are in for a treat here. This, of course, doesn't mean that the Expo will be up in the long run. Archmage is greedy. The damage is good. And there's almost another water elemental. This one narrow tower won't do much. Not too many peasants fell. It's only three. It's totally fine. And this is all sunken cost at the moment. Only repair, no mining. Footman squad is here, but so is the Lich. Great positioning by both players. Know exactly what the next obstacle is and where to be at what time. Even the retreat was the right one. 
and the repair was absolutely necessary. 1 to 0, blasting through his mana as one should. Waiting for the deny, footman safe, but at the moment, the heavier losses are clearly on 40 side, two footmen down, but his tech starts at the six minute mark. Same for one to zero, actually. Neck and neck fight, levels even, supply numbers e dead even, income even. We got a wonderful setup for the rest of the game. Deny on the water elemental, ghoul saved. That's some high class Warcraft, everybody. That is some high class Warcraft, everybody. But in general, I'd start to wonder a little bit, uh, to, to worry a little bit, if you're a 1 to 0 fan. The late game usually belongs to the human. Lumber is looking good. Archmage health is only at 50%, but the shop is already up. 1 to 0 needs to do some big, big, big damage if he wants to have a chance at the late game. Fiend transition coming with double crypt. And then what? Is he still refusing to go Banshees? I'd say yes. And is it even the Banshee meta anymore? Footmen are the biggest strength of 40 usually. Not as a unit per se, but the way he's using him, the amount he builds is pretty much almost perfect, gets the job done, whether that is creeping or punishing enemy expansions. And then later you can throw them away basically into undead bases when it's about the slaughterhouse timing. Blacksmith coming, more farms tier two about to fall, acolyte damage works out. Oh, that's one kill. The amount of pressure that 40 can create is amazing. He brought this matchup to a whole new level. I'd say... Oh, wait a minute before I say this. I'd say nobody has ever played a better human verse on that matchup. Gotta be careful here. But there's no Nova available. And there's a scroll of region on the Archmage in... Oh, is that really the way to go? Is that really the way to go? It's definitely the way to go out with the town portal. Wow. Chaos created. Echo damage is fantastic. And also more investments into static defense. 40 has to keep his Archmage safe. Mountain King coming. Tier 3 queued on both sides. So Fiend's Destros versus Knight's Gyros. It is the classic unit composition so far. Definitely some wiggle room for Fortitude down the road. Oh my god, he got the rune braces as well. This is just insane. And this was the weak part of the human gameplay. This didn't look weak at all. Acolytes killed. Ghouls killed. Items forced. Towers forced. It is a level 4 lich, but uh oh! Hammer to the head. There's more where this one came from. DK also needs to support his first hero. Archmage picks up the item. Scroll of the Beast can be very, very helpful. Being caught now as well as the coil saved the lich. That was juicy. But 40 isn't done here yet. That was his creep spot. And now, what is zero shall be punished for that. No defend, but it's time to rotate out footmen and it's time to swing that hammer for some meaningful kills. And if you drain the mana of the DK and Lich, of course, while you yourself, nice potion swap, have the Brilliant Sora, that's pretty sweet. Fiends are supposed to fall, Mountain King out, Fiend is falling, and no more Nova to work with. The perfect retreat with the heroes while distracting and poking with water elementals. Get up. Maybe prevent the last hits here if that's somehow possible. It is hard to do. Water elementals feed the heroes up quite a bit. 40 gotta lick the wounds. He got 1400 gold. 
Cannon Towers, Knights, Paladin. We're breaking into upkeep immediately. Same timing for 1 2 0, though. Third hero has yet to be decided. Dark Ranger, Dreadlord. If he wants to be very cheeky, even a Pit Lord. But the levels aren't there yet. Frenzy timing, Destro timing, Orb timing. It is coming together for 1 to 0, by no means a bad performance, but Fortitude just in a better spot all around. But one hero nuke can always, always turn things around. These ghouls will disappear quickly. DK levels are not where they're supposed to be. Same can be said about the Mountain King, of course. 1 to 0 goes A bomb. Over third hero. Is he just skipping the third hero? No liches around. Stormbolt. No chance for a last hit. The second rune bracers. How are you supposed to nuke this army? Oh my. Well, there's two rune bracers. On the high ground now, to a degree. Statue's coming in. 40 has a town portal and can get out. But does he want to get out? Archmage on the menu. Same for the Lich of the Lich. Falls here. This almost game. AM! Woo! Saved into an info potion. Lich saved into the Zeppelin. One exit kill on the Fiend. That was one sick creep jack here. But not too much damage done. It was only footman to fortitude. He can replace them with knights now. On the other side, ghoul. Invo Potion, Fiend, gone, and the big item. How do you nuke these heroes now? I love that he gives the Rune Braces to the Archmage immediately, not on the Paladin. Yeah, he needs to level. Yeah, he will be the focus point. But he'll get Divine Shield anyway. A-bomb's Disease Cloud. That's the play. I don't know if that can work late game. I really don't. Not a single destroyer yet, right? Don't even know how do we have gyros? We don't even have gyros. One. One for scouting. This could be overwhelming, but this is not even the greatest number of statues here to go into destroyers. It's just mass melee on both sides. Wouldn't the dreadlock be nice then? 40 needs another TP. More orbs, I'd say. Eh, uh, more orbs. More, more staffs. Helm of Valor. More HP armor. Not bad. And we go indeed for a pit lord. We don't know if it's as galore. But with Howl. There's no dispel against this Howl. Knights have high damage. This is a lot of damage mitigation. And this is something new. We've seen the Pit Lord many, 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 many times with Reign of Fire against these human expansions. But with Howl, rare. No level 2 Stormbolt yet. No level 2 Holy Light yet. But Static Defense with a Cannon Tower that is hard to crack. Staff on the night. He's out of the fight. 80 food. This is a bit clunky with all these knights and abominations. Very rare in Warcraft that you see so much melee. Uh oh, Pit Lord being nuked here. We have the level 2 coil, so the sustain for 1 to 0 isn't bad. But an A bomb is falling, a fiend is falling. This one, oh my, saved by the bell. And now the disease cloud is working. And Fortitude has no access to a heal scroll. Sick nukes. Sick plays. Sick even game. Level 5 Lich, always a weapon, of course. And there was a lot of economy damage. Howl of Terror. Apparently the solution. Here are the staffs now. Abominations spread the disease as so often. This choke, really not that easy to work with. 
funny to see that there's not a single destroyer in this game. If the knights reach the fiends, the fiends are dead or a coil is forced. And how much longevity is in this fight for one to do? There's maybe one coil, but there's plenty of units about to die. Mountain King soon to have another storm bolt. That target is gonna go down. And the paladin looking so good. There's so much holy light. The brilliance aura once again. A wonderful, wonderful device. But 1-2-0 is not crumbling. He's using the abominations as mana potions, basically. Heal potions. And 40 needs time. I'm pretty sure Regent Scroll is working. He needs that. Everything's hurt thanks to the disease cloud. And 1-2-0 is just brute forcing this with A-bombs. Continues to go with A-bombs. And he is able to prevent that level 2 Stormbolt and the high level Paladin. That's the biggest issue right here. As everything is denied, Dark Ritual, what an asset it is, similar to a Dota Lich. Deny the enemy experience and move ahead with levels. Pitlord can't fall, but Fiends and Deaths and Abominations, that's the problem. Nuke on the Mountain King, despite the Rune Bracers, and despite the Helm of Valor, he's safe! That would have been... What is it? Minus 11 damage? What was it? I didn't even see. Was it minus 11? Lich is chasing yet another Nova Staff on a Knight. And level 2 on the Pit Lord. Now what a tug of war between them. Not a single calm moment between them. Who's crumbling first? Who makes the first big mistake? The guys are fighting for 8-9 minutes straight. At some point you can't be perfect no more. You see the value of the Cannon Tower. Super tough to crack. Mountain King got level 3. Is that... Wow. This Lich barely taking any damage. He used Clap. Clap 2. Instead of Stormbolt. Okay. Ballsy move. Pally on the menu. Oh no. He went Devotion Aura. Instead of Divine Shield. What a ballsy move. And now his healer is gone. Fortitude in trouble. These knights are about to fall. Every single one of them. Clap, really? In the back line, knights are storming towards the fiends. He needs huge kills. And maybe even a tavern revive. Everything. A kingdom for a heal scroll now. Pally is back from the tavern. Super expensive. And these knights just clean house, but... Again, there is revenge by 120. 68 food on both sides. The by far best game of the tournament thus far. And that Lich is not done yet. Archmage close to five. But will this expansion still stand? Oh, AM! Misposition! Heal potion, no TP. Staff. If on the pally is not ready. Needs the holy light yesterday, but there's no mana. I think 1 to 0 got this. Level 6 on the lich. It is death, uh, Dark Ritual 3. Unlimited mana now. Ice Age. And the Archmage is consuming potion after potion after potion. A potion uh, holic. And he can't reach 5. That clap seems very questionable to me. If you have a long-term plan to go clap Blizzard, totally fine. That's probably a win condition. But in that situation, wouldn't Stormbolt have given you plenty more kills? I'm not sure. It looks like 1-2-0 got this now. But never underestimate a late-game human army. Water Elementals 3. Oh! Mountain King bites the dust and the Pit Lord level 3. The level up saved him there. Mountain King is always supposed to be the carry. He's knocked out, not leveling. Any holy lighters here don't see them. And this is a very, very, very problematic situation for Fortitude right now. Coil, Nova, left and right. This is not the game to take here. 20 food lead. Expo still running. 1-2-0. Showing who's boss. Our December champion. With an amazing performance. Level 6, 4 and 3. 
two hero losses on Fortitude's side. And those were the decisive ones. Thank you, the mess, for the 22 month resub. Where are Pally rifles? Well, the Pally is here. We haven't seen rifles. I feel like 1 to 0 needs a massive mistake. Maybe a four point surround. There is a TP though, and the nuke is this strong. Was it the hero skills that cost Fortitude the game? Clap instead of Bolt and Devotion Aura instead of Divine Shield. On the big stage, in the group stage deciding match. Do you, are you really that greedy to go for Devotion Aura? GG! 1-0 with an exclamation mark to everyone in this tournament. He's back. Tremendous. Nothing but tremendous. And Howl. Howl of Terror, everybody. Is that a strat for the time to come? Is there... Any other matchup, by the way, that has this much melee? I don't think so. It's only, and it can only be 1 to 0, because 1 to 0 is the only player to go with this many A bombs. Clap was the right call. At that, at that time of the game, Forty just needed to buy one Griffin. Well, that takes quite a bit of time, guys. As Galore is auto win. I guess so. I guess so. It is thankfully the fireworks that we were hoping for. That we expected, judging from the names here on the match. And apparently the maps weren't swapped. Concealed Hill, the loser's pick of Fortitude, and Hammerfall, the loser's pick of Fortitude. Zero. The biggest mistake was to not split against the two ghouls and not cancel the expo. You got a point there, that was very, very, very early stage in the game. Forty got distracted for like 15 solid seconds, 20 seconds maybe, by two ghouls. Would love to have the, um, the insights of Leon or Starbuck here. I don't think they're available. My man. This is some good Warcraft here. You are? What is the question? Um, did you see the entire game? At the very beginning, when the human expo was crapped, 40 went halfway to 1 to zero's expansion and then got distracted by two ghouls. Is that... Necessary to walk all the way back? Was it a mistake because he was hesitant? Should you just split against it? Like maybe a water elemental back and keep the rest and click on the haunted? The answer is yes. <laughs> It's tough, man. And it was really close. He decided to split a water elemental eventually. And it was like this much HP. L Leon says you have two options. Creep your expansion, go for Arcane and Towel Hall. Defend and go for the counter push. Or split with AM. 
Yeah. But since he was already halfway at the Undead expansion, and then went all the way back, that was like 20 seconds that he lost, so 25. Anyway, there is some small room for improvement here for both of the players. We are going to conceal till a human loser's pick conceal till against undead. That's insane to me. But 40 can do it. If there's one player who can do it, it's definitely 40. He is a magician when it comes to expansions and he's also the one true player who can play one base and one to zero is it now set for him that it's the lich all the way we'll have the answers in a bit 42 could also play mountain king there we go The rise of the MK was quite fascinating prior to prior to the patch actually. And then he disappeared again for a little bit. So we got a Mountain King footy setup versus DK Ghouls. DK Ghouls not that often paired. It's often any other hero with ghouls. Or the DK with fiends. But this looks like quite a bit of aggression here. And 40. One base or not. Three farms already an indicator. And the first hello. If 40 is expanding, it's going to be a late one. Orange into green into expo. Gotta be conservative with the mana. You want to control the DK. Interesting. Split creeping. Against an almost... Ted Fiend-esque DK RS. But since there's no expansion creep, there's very little to do right now for the DK. Ooh, how far is the arcane? At 50% only. That's a kill. First exclamation mark. Mountain King meets DK on the right hand side, but at the moment it's about the economy. Stressful already once again. Weird game now. Arcane up, base save. But not doing too many strides towards an expansion. And creeping this in the face of a DK, it's a little easier than creeping this compared to when you're facing a Literas, obviously, as Coil has a projectile and needs some treble speed, and Nova doesn't. But yeah, this is quite scary. Whoa, double crypt! He's playing Garks! In the absence of water elementals, and now that he knows that towers will take some time down the road, Garks might be the answer. He do, thank you for the raid, mate. Uh, thank you for the sub, mate. Crucial timing, 1 to 0, undershoots the creep. Ghoul also going down. So much poison, so much potential for murder. Of course, no range attack. That makes it tricky, at least yeah, on, on both sides. We're playing melee once again, just like we did on map number one. Coil burst, Stormbolt, Stormbolt prevails. There's no TP here, by the way. He sold the TP, but it's only a level one hero. Maybe ghouls more value. Bash, nice. But the saves are great. That's the downside of going melee. You obviously have no range. 
six. Oh, no way. No way did he park the footman there for the kill. Sick and gets the DK surround too. No chance for a staff. Fortitude with the clinic. Late early game. This is one to zero's game down the dumpster. Ghouls, Bruce the dead. DK dead. Mountain King three. And Expo is coming up. Cloud nine. Bash canceled the staff. Sick. Yeah, I mean, having the DK in that position with only a staff when you know that it's Bash and Bolt and there's mana is ballsy. Now there's Gargs though. Tickle damage for now. Arcane Tower up. And the Lumber Mill is also proceeding. You need Gargs in high numbers. I'm just in awe by this game by Fortitude thus far. There's still a chance for him to lose this game, obviously. 1 to 0 needs some extraordinary gargoyle play. The gargs will help him level up at the Red Drake Fountains. And this is annoying, but will oh, maybe lead to kills. <laughs> Even a deny here, nice to see. And he's not getting impatient. He's not spamming storm bolts. But what this does, very, very similar to the Undead vs. Night Elf matchup, is to lower Lumber. And Lumber is an issue. Oops, Garg's killed there. Rifle's coming. 40 is getting more and more stable. It is a late tech. A very, very, very late tech. But 1 to 0 at some point needs a transition. Rifles have advanced damage type on Gargs, advanced armor type on Gargs. Buy time for the towers. Stormbolt is there. Mountain King is just waiting for yet. Ah! Uh, yet another hammer, I was about to say. Now a kingdom. For the Hawk Boro, eh? The tech is late, but it's a little misleading because the blacksmith is already there and we basically have a Mountain King rifle build. With masonry upgrades. With guard towers. And 1 to 0 needs the tier 3 timing. This is now the undead cheat code with Garks on this map. But 40 has always been the best when he's able to storm into undead bases. What's the target? Slaughterhouse a little too late. Mountain King, staff on a footy. And now we're fighting for the first time in the undead base. It's all about these acolytes. 1 to zero's tech, still progressing. Can't rebuild acolytes at the moment. Garks are back too. That is buying a lot of time. Is he forced into a town portal is the question. Oh, Ghoul doesn't block. So this goes on the... <laughs> on the cost of... Maybe the MK? No, gets the ring there. Nice little exchange. The values of ring this, these days, everybody. Ballsy move there. It wasn't the gauntlets, it was the staff. 
Uh, okay, I guess is he doesn't need that anymore. 1800 gold. And this begs the question, what's 120 going to do? Because the hard counter to Gargs are obviously gyros. Lots and lots and lots of gyros. The counter to gyros is a high level dreadlord, but we don't have a dreadlord yet. We will not have a dreadlord for a long time. And this will all- Oh, Katka's pipe, that's nice. And usually dreadlord is reserved for two base, two base play. Lumber still an issue. Dark Ranger. Okay. okay. With Black Arrow too. One to zero taking risks. He knows high level heroes are the solution. And he takes the camps away. Creeping aggressively in fortitude side of the map. But the human army is coming together. Halfway done with tier three. We got the Griffin Avery. Maybe knights, maybe more rifles. I think it's just the two token rifles. Still a bit problematic of a game. It's not as clear cut as it looked after the DK kill. But yeah, we got flag cannons and gyros now. These six Garks are not gonna have an impact. One more creeping for one to zero. His inventory is absurd. Sobi mask went of mana stealing, Katka's pipe and a big mana potion. Can this DK ever run out? Of mana. But just unit wise. I don't see this working. It is no clap. Oh, Gyro's first one being picked apart. You need them in numbers, just like the Garks. But fighting into tower range with the Gyro's threatening a fight on the left hand side is tricky. This feels like an all in for 1 to 0. There is no staff yet. Needs it fast, gets it. But no orb. And also no third hero. Garks being picked up. So are the rifles. Very tricky situation now. It's only six gyros. The kiting game needs to be absurd. Gyro, micro, key now for Fortitude to save his series, to save his chance for the group stage win in group B. That's what's on the line here in the series. Silence working well with the Dark Ranger too. Oh, now, now we got eight gyros. This seems to be the critical mass. Lynch dodges the stumble point blank, you madman! And kills the paladin! 1 2 0, firing on all cylinders! This is his moment right now into towers. The gyros are more or less useless, hoping for some other reinforcements. Griffin's in the mix now, but without the pally, how do you heal? Knights are supposed to win the fight on the ground. Now the stone form is over. Now we're rotating out the Garks as the Griffins are coming out. And more Knights are coming out. This time the Stormbolt connects, but there is no follow-up at the moment. Was it a little bit too much? Was it a little bit too late? Can't play Destroyers, really. This is still... Everybody's game, I feel, but 1 2 0. Ironically, needs mana. He still has the big mana potion. And there's no Archmage, no Blood Mage. A very, very, very limited amount of Storm Bolts here, but Paladin is back. Holy Light is back. Only level 1. Might need it on the little dwarf here. Griffin is doing a fantastic job, almost untouchable. But still, the fight for survival. If Fortitude holds here, we go game three. The staff usage is great. The damage on statues is great. Oh, but the nuke is also pretty good. 
Dark Ranger under attack now. That's level two. Is he once again greedy? Goes for the Votion Aura, or is he a little safer with the Vine Shield? Yeah, 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 he is. As he knows, Hero Focus is probably the only way that 1 to 0 wins this game. 24 supply lead. Expo still up, and most importantly, not only up, but it's also mining the entire time. Very little passant usage. The presence of Gyros prevents any destroyer morphs. And that is now an almost unsolvable puzzle for 1 to 0. CJB Ace, thank you for the sub. I gotta give it to Twitch chat. They said, just build a griffin, bro. And he built a griffin. And it's looking pretty good. Close to level 5 Mountain King. I assume a clarity was running. This army is now quite gigantic. A hero kill is the win. Ghouls disappear in no time versus griffins. Fiends disappear in no time versus knights. Both have to connect. That's a little bit of the issue. But here it is. The next Stormbolt might save or seal the deal. Web is there. All right. Not bad. But the Dark Ranger is just evaporating. GG. We go game three. Concealed Hill. Mountain King first. Instant Expo. Not Instant Expo, but Early Expo. Into an... A pre-tech rifle transition into tier 3. What a game. Not too bad by 1-0. to zero. For the early game, it was a bad early game. For a forced gargoyle transition, this wasn't too bad. But he couldn't use his timing to knock Fortitude out. And again, mana management on the Mountain King. Plus... The peasant usage. Is there anyone using peasants better, uh, better than Fortitude? I don't think so. There is almost always the perfect amount of repair without using too many peasants or all peasants in a panic reaction. There's always some of them mining. He wasn't crumbling when he was attacked in the main by gargoyles. Resource, resource management. Mwah! So good. Thank you very much, Sisonic, for the 500 bids. Way to go, 40! MK is the best play. Game three. Keep in mind, Tide Hunters was the neutral playground. Hammerfall is 1 to zero's map. But I don't know if I'm wrong here, but isn't Hammerfall... I don't want to say a human map, but slightly in human territory, at least? Leon confirms who's using peasants better as 40 is doing. No one. That's right. Blacklisted? For what? Like, am I wrong? Please correct me if I'm wrong, but Hammerfall is a good human map. Twenty-four workers on forty. Yeah, no time for a shredder. I hate playing Undead on Hammer 4. We'll see. This is the best matchup for sure. <sighs> Little bit of a breather. This was an exhausting series. Almost an entire hour of non-stop fighting. There wasn't a big creep face. Unconcealed, we've seen it a bit. 
But also not for too long. Hype. 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 This is very much hype. Man, if these guys meet each other in the grand final in a best of seven, I would not mind. <laughs> Baza, thank you for the euro. Neo, I just want to say hello and ask you how you're doing. I mean, if you have two games like this, how can you not be hyped? How can you not do good? <sighs> Game up. Decision time. Whoever wins this map is going 2-0 in Group B. And with that, is very, very, very likely to win the group. The other two players in the group, so in. And remind, I don't want to take anything away from them, but they are not top four material in this tournament. They were, especially remind, but in this tournament they are the underdogs. It's all about 1 to 0 and 40 here today. Who's your favorite player right now? Is it still all it? Always and forever. It's the DK opener again. 40 switches back to Archmage. Oh, Todd announced on stream of 40 wins TP League. He'll permanently quit 4 and 4. Yeah, yeah, screenshot time. There you go. And it's Ted Fiends. Third different build by 1 to 0. After Lich Ghouls into DK Ghouls, it's Ted Fiends. Very curious. You can expect Fortitude to go for this Rock Golem pull. This is what you do. This has been established. But are you expecting a harassing DK with some coils on your doorstep? Oh! <gasps> that was incredibly close. Now what? He's closing this around. 1 to 0. Frostmourne hungers and gets it! Disaster for 40! 60% of a level just on the undead account. Item to 40, but it's only a ring. Revenge for the early game on Concealed. And the good old DK Skeleton Harass is back on the menu. This can never happen. This is never supposed to happen. And the door to the group stage win for 1 to 0. Is wide open. <sighs> what a comeback. After a quite disastrous game two, one to zero is back with a vengeance. And what now, 40? DK is still shocking around. He only used... What is it? One coil? Two coil? Two coils. Now one for creeping. It was already close with the Acolyte before. That should have maybe been a lesson. But it wasn't. We need one of those legendary fortitude comebacks. If there's a human player 
who can win this match from this position, it's 40. But it's a Hercules task. Only level 2 Archmage, of course, with the Creep Route. You'd love to have level 3 now. 5 minute expo. This is where you're supposed to think about attack. Hydra is helping! This was also a lot of peasants. But Lumber is okay. Still needs towers. But this is quote unquote only Ted Fiends. It's not that there's a super oppressive mid game phase coming. There is some time to recover from falling But he needs to be incredibly tricky. Footman needs to deny. Didn't. Oh, got the deny. Sweet. no tech but he only needs gold this will be recovering fast the tech timing is oh I was about to say all right staff coming home doesn't fake anything was well, not getting faked out by anything that's what I wanted to say what he has the gold now fiends oh Almost a surround! If he gets it here, that's huge! With the second fiend being hurt, third attempt doesn't work! And here is the Lich, and that's another power spike for 1 2 0 now with fiends hurt like this. Problematic, but against Nova, you don't want a surround like that. That could have gone sideways very, very quickly here. Archmage with the Ring of Region is fantastic. 1 to 0's way of dealing with water elementals is also very good. Setting up another footman trap. Will the surround stick this time? Yep. And there's not too many coils. There's one. Surround sticks. That's a fiend dead. No deny. More and more experience onto the account of Fortitude. The tech is running too. Towers are coming up. There is a chance for a comeback. And that fiend loss is big, but the big push is yet to come. The clock is ticking, tier 3 on the way, 40 needs towers, towers and even more towers. No consumables at all, no roll of necromancy, nothing on the side of 1 to 0. Good interception. Always be careful about this coil nova, but the ring of region is paying dividends alongside more HP from the gauntlets, more armor as well, and staff usage. 40 is buying a very solid amount of time. And now 1 to 0 what? Is it pit lord time again? Are we back to 2015? When it was 1 to 0's rise to fame at GCS. Four grand finals in a row. Finally, an undead world championship before happy established dominance. Solid distraction, but 1 to 0 is not getting deterred. Spirit Tower, no defense. It's still bang time. And I talked about peasant usage of Fortitude. Never underestimate. Oh, what? He killed the, he killed the shop. Was about to say no orb, but DK just last second got the orb done. But no more statues here now. He queued one more, but that's about it. No third hero either. And also no resources for it. 40th tier three has started. The chances of winning 
are increasing. And it's Blizzard. A retrain to Blizzard with another footman run by. This is very, very, very infiesque. But you gotta hold. No rain of fire. Instead, it's raining ice shards. If 40 just trades his expo away for the main, that is obviously a good one. Towers are holding the fort. Game of chicken. 1 to 0 can't TP. Fortitude can choose the time to fight. Acolytes are falling rapidly. What a strike of genius. Acolytes are falling way too quickly. Still three available. But he needs more. This Archmage isn't done here yet. There is a chance that 1 to 0 is losing three ziggurats in the trade. Is he just being outplayed on tier two and a half? The Ring of Regen again, man. Footies attacking the Haunted Gold Mine. That's level four. And the Ziggurats are falling too. You gotta get out there in a second. The Destros are here. There's three Ziggurats down and the Gold Mine. Knock out punch for one to zero as it seems. Level 40k, all right, but what's it worth? The main has been destroyed. 25 food only for 40. All footmen dead. But Mountain King is coming. He is still mining. And he got 500 gold in the bank. But on the other side, there's Coil Nova. One to zero can't rebuild anything. He needs to sell items to get the haunted back. Oh, there's not even an acolyte left. There's not even a single acolyte left. He can't rebuild anything. That's a problem. That is a huge problem. 40 just make sure. Do you have anything left? Is there anything I should worry about? And no, there's not. Creeping, selling items. Slowly but steady. Getting back into the game somehow. Invo potions, of course, you'd love to use them. A Destro dying here. Maybe... Uh, maybe on purpose? Uh, you have to lose units. You have to lose a Fiend and a Destro to be able to build an Acolyte back. As you can't afford to lose the set here. Because that is 8 food, then you're at 19, build the Acolyte, try to get the Haunted back, and try to re-establish the economy. He's lumber, he's lumber stuck. He's lumber stuck. Lelu, you're correct. He's also lumber stuck and there's no ghouls anymore. This is a base race? Yeah, I didn't even factor this in. Four point surround. Is he can't coil? Checkmate. Stormbolt prior to the coil. There's a holy light. Surround sticks. Another heal potion, but ah uh ah -uh. ah uh ah. -uh. Fortitude is a god amongst human. G G. He did it. He did it again. Coughing like a madman, but yep. His TikTok stream will be overjoyed. It wasn't easy. It was a slaughter on both sides. But this is the new 40. For weeks and months, 
This guy is reaching new heights.